what's going on guys here another video today guys we're going to be talking about the new uh lore within the visa star frost uh or <laughs> hey luna um so we're going to go and look like the new ones known as uh manor dome so it looks like they're doing guys kind of like the uh kind of like uh fallen of albaz and despia and all that stuff and branded uh and branded as well uh so this is kind of like another off uh, kind of like an off version kind of like that in a sense so kind of think about that when we look through these cards what I want to primarily discuss, I'll let you guys kind of read their effects. Some of them I'll re read their kind of effects, but mostly I want to talk about yet again is the stuff good? Can you use it with within uh, Scareclaw, or you know, this eventually they'll probably end up doing maybe like a structure deck, or can the archetype kind of stand on its own kind of thing? So those are things we'll primarily cover in this video because I want to make sure we're being different than the other news report channels that are just reporting what the cards do. So we'll look at that, or it's on the screen where you guys can read. So with that being said, guys, we'll go ahead and dive in. Please consider subscribing if you like Scareclaw content. This is the number one channel for Scareclaw. I have a whole playlist of that and numerous deck builds. and be doing more deck builds with the support coming out in February. With that being said, let's dive in real quick. Uh, um, so we got one of the cards that we needed, guys. And I mentioned this in the, the video this morning. If you haven't had a chance to check that out, watch it. And I go over the new uh, fusion monster for the uh, Scareclaw archetype. So definitely consider checking out if you missed that one this morning. That'll play after this video. This is one of the things that I was talking about this morning that we needed, though, because it's a light level. Uh, it really doesn't matter about the, the level 4, but it is nice that it's a level 4. And it's also 1,500 attack and 2,100 defense, so it's perfect. It goes with what we needed, kind of like I mentioned, for tier elements grief. So what you could do is you could normal summon this card, resolve its effect by doing this card's normal summon a special summon. You can add one Manor Dome card from your uh, deck to your hand, uh, same as Light Rich Heart. So you could use this plus, then play grief with it. Uh, send the, uh bring out visa star frost send this to the graveyard and then with that you can have all these other things in here that you could do like the new ones here that you could go through and special summon i mean you could have pulled one of these from your your uh, deck to your hand because they're all manor dome cards so you could easily pull this as an extender whether you're wanting to uh synchro with it which there's a synchro we'll look at here in a moment all of them basically let you synchro guys uh so because they're all tuners all these little level twos that we'll look at uh and they can let you special summon if you have something like like this here, like the Rich Art for Scareclaw, uh, or this guy here, the Manor Dome, uh, uh, I guess R Rum Art is how you pronounce. I think pronounce that. Uh, and these le level twos, they all pre they all pretty much do the same thing. They all just special summon from the hand if you have the Visa Star Frost or like the card above, or like Rich Art or you know Rhino Heart for the Tail Element stuff like that. So these will work very well with them as far as extenders, whether Xenko plays or you could just use them as additional free summons for. <laughs> going in for even for a scare clause so i think they're pretty decent extenders uh we'll kind of take a look at the uh let's, let's look at the synchro real quick so this one's made of it's called menadome uh, prime heart which is real cool 3000 attack 3000 defense he's real cool light looks like a nice uh nice very cool uh boss monster so this card attack and the number of uh, times each battle phase up to the number of tuners used as materials so that's cool uh, this card can be synchro summoned using menadome uh Wait, if this card is going to use Menodome Tuners as material, cannot be targeted by your opponent's effects. That's really good. Uh, if this face-up secret summon card leaves the field due to your opponent, you can special summon one Visa Star Frost or uh, Monster 1500 Attack 20 Defense. You can bring back your Rich Heart, the Rum Heart that we looked at earlier, or your Til or Rhino Heart for the Tail Elements. Uh, or even if they're banished. So you could even, like, that's what's so good about these guys, too, to go with the new card. Uh, with the Fusion, right, you could go with uh, bringing this dude out, and then you could literally send this dude in Visa Star Frost and play the fusion we talked about this morning. So not only could you get him out, uh, you could bring out the other two. So you could bring out two boss monsters of 3,000 attack with two, just two cards. That's ridiculous. Uh, so that's why I wanted to cover this way so you guys could see more how it's going to work with the actual uh, archetype itself. Well, let's go and look at some of the spell cards, but I just want to throw out some kind of plays and some quick combos that are just coming to my mind so you guys can kind of get an idea if you like the, the cards or not. Let me know if you guys enjoy that in the comments down below. Uh, and what your thoughts are. So the spell card is so Imagine uh, or, or Imagine or Imagining. Uh, all right, so we can so we can use once per turn effect. So this is the basically the draw. So this is really good. So you can reveal one Manadome monster or Visa Star Frost in your hand. Draw two cards and then return one. So basically it's a draw two and put back something you don't need. So that's fantastic. We needed something kind of like this, so I'm happy that we got this. Because uh, you could still use this in Scareclaw. Because just reveal the Star Frost and show that. Or the Manadome. Right, we'll be definitely be doing this a mixture with Scareclaw, and then I'll probably do a build of these by themselves, guys. So definitely make sure you subscribe if, you, if you're interested in seeing content like that. Uh, you can banish this card from your graveyard uh, and target one, uh, 115 or tech monster and treat it as a tuner. So this one's pretty decent. It turn, you could turn like one of them into a tuner, so it's easier for you to go into like a six or maybe like a ten. 
this could make it where you could go into the level 10. I think that's what they put this for. So you could go into like the dude, uh, the rum heart up here or the rich heart and then use like your two scare claw monsters on the field and bam, you have, uh, uh, you can bring out him real quickly. So I could see that being a combo. This was another one that I thought that was actually pretty good that some of the others kind of looked over that they didn't think it was too good, but I've got an idea how to use it. Uh, or one idea already is it. So try to go a monster you control and destroy it. And if you do, add basically the new field spell, which is right here. We'll look at this in a second. Uh, hang on, Lynn. I'll let you outside in a second. <laughs> From your deck to your hand. Or if you control basically the field spell down below, the primal planet. Uh, you can add one mental and spell trap card uh, from your... Uh, uh, to your, basically your hand instead. So you can pull a field spell if you if you uh, even if you have the field spell on the field, or you can pull another uh, spell or trap card of the Mana Dome from your deck uh, from your deck trance. That's really good. Uh, you can banish this card from your graveyard and then special summon one Visa Starfrost or Monster Vision Attack for, from your hand. So that's really good just as an extender play, guys. So you could bring it out or the the Starfrost, and we would be able to do you know some crazy shenanigans because we could go through uh, we could go through and use him. Uh, so that would be pretty good, or or the rich heart. The rich heart would be better because you probably you're gonna be able to pull, uh, pull and kind of extend. So that kind of works out as well. Also, too, with the destroy the destroy effect, it goes in with the field spell because the last part of the field spell you guys kind of read the other part. But this part here, so if a face up two hundred monster control be destroyed by battle a card effect, and for once it doesn't specify your opponent. So this would even trigger off Visa Starfrost. So you could just use Visa Starfrost effect destroy one of the tuners. Special summon Visa Starfrost, and then use the Field Spells effect to re-special summon back the tuner you just destroyed to special summon Starfrost. So you're able to use Starfrost as an extender even more so than before, because you can use it to bring these two guys back. And if you guys look closely, uh, M Colt Forty called this out on his video I watched earlier. It's the it's the basically the Primal Planet for the uh, Scareclaw Field Spell, and then if you look on this one here. It's the same thing, but it's the the field spell for the tier field spell. A mini little tier elements monster. <laughs> I thought that was adorable. Um, so yeah, so I think those are pretty good guys. Uh, I don't think the traps were too. Um, let's see. All right, so the trap. This was just a standard trap card. It looks pretty cool. Almost like kind of like a judgment dragon or an alien judgment dragon. Almost kind of thing. Uh, target one tuner or synchro monster in your graveyard. Special summon it, and then if you the, the special summoned a light monster with this effect, you can target. Um, so basically, you can bring back the boss dude here, like him. I've got uh, let's look at. I'm assuming this is probably another synchro. Uh, so we'll probably get another synchro announced, which I expect. I expect us to get at least two. I would say two or three more synchros for this deck. So we'll keep an eye on that. I'm curious if we'll get any more fusions. I figured we would. We may just get that one though. Uh, especially when the, uh, the light monster you can destroy monster your opponent controls with equal at uh, attack than the monster. If he's a star for us or a monster you control, fifth turn attack or defense, we destroy by battle card effect. You can banish this card instead. Uh, so that's really good. It's not too. It's not too. It's not really broken, but that's not too bad. It's kind of like basically a rival for the Scareclaw. Um, this one's really generic support for the uh, just like a Visa Starfrost, or if you have like Synchro Monsters, mostly for the Synchro Monsters. Uh, so this is just kind of an extra effect if you happen to have uh, Visa Starfrost. Um, what was it? This one. This one's pretty good. It gave me some, something that I've kind of wanted, and I've kind of mentioned in previous videos for Scareclaw. Uh, unfortunately, it's only for the Mana Dome cards, though. So you can banish this card from your graveyard, target three Dome monster, uh, Mana Dome monsters in your graveyard, and return them to the deck. I think that's pretty good, especially since these guys kind of cycle. Uh, as far as, like, these two. We'll see if we get another one. I think we, we should get... I figured we'd get one more with their field spell on it. So, like, there may be a chance we get a third one with it, because to me that would make sense. Uh, but those are my thoughts, guys. I think this is, this is some of the support you know, I mentioned that we needed, so as far as, like, the recoverability to... Uh, you know, to kind of bring him out, because uh, this is like the what the card you can kind of use here to bring out the uh, Starfrost that I mentioned. So it is some recoverability we added to the also arrival that we have as well within the Skirt Claw archetype. So it's not full. I hope we get something other than this, but this is still not bad. It's very close to what we need, and I think this still would be a very good mix with Skirt Claw build. Uh, kind of, you know, putting the two archetypes together because they definitely do work together. Uh, so definitely stay tuned guys, I'll do, once we get these cards in Omega, I'll do a deck profile with these as well, as soon as we get access to the Mega. With that being said guys, I'll go ahead and end the video here, I appreciate you guys' love and support, make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.